Some more dumpling and some carrots in there. And some good mm. food. Nice. Everybody in this world got a special place called home. And everybody in this world got a place called home. Whether you're the in the foreign, in the cold, rep your area code. Check me area code, rep me area code. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jivandi. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I will be making you guys some goat water, which is a popular dish in St. Kitts, as well as other Caribbean islands like Montserrat and Antigua. And I am starting off by washing my meat very thoroughly. I had someone actually reach out to me asking for this recipe on my channel in one of my previous videos, and I just had to find the meat. So. I found the goat meat for this recipe and for this recipe you need goat meat. Other people confuse goat water meat with mutton which is from sheep but for this you actually need goat meat also known as Siobhan. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just washing the meat, cleaning them, chopping them up in some fine chunks and then I am going to season them well. And all of my seasoning that I'm using is just seasoned salt, adobo, a bit of all-purpose seasoning, some garlic powder, and I think that's pretty much it, and a bit of thyme actually too. This recipe also uses clove, but I didn't have any clove, so I just did everything without that. And then at this step, now I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of oil and then season that up. And while I'm preparing the meat, I do have the water on the stove boiling and I salted that water prior to boiling as well. Now that, now that I'm done, I'm going to add the meat to the boiling water and then just let it cook for about an hour and a half because goat meat takes a, a while for it to get tender. If you have a pressure cooker pot, that will be best. But I just put it on the stove on high heat for about an, an hour and a half for it to get tender. While the meat is cooking for that hour and a half, I'm gonna go in and work on the extra ingredients. So I had some frozen breadfruit, and then I'm gonna peel some carrots. I used three carrots for this, and then I used about two pieces of roasted breadfruit. And then I'm gonna chop those up with some bell peppers, onions, and three sticks at thyme, and then I have the thyme season itself to use. Now that I'm done with all the other stuff prep set aside, I'm going to work on the dumplings and I have a more in-depth recipe on my channel making dumpling. I'm going to link that right here. But I'm just going to go in with two cups of flour, two tablespoons of butter and some salted warm water. And then we're going to just knead that in and once it forms into a ball, I'm going to make really tiny rolls of dough to make my dumplings. Goat water is also normally eaten with a side of garlic bread, but I didn't have any garlic bread or I didn't feel like making any garlic bread. But if you want to add that step, you always can just get some bread, cut it up real nice and thin, get some butter, melt down some garlic and some seasoning it, and then you, toast, you put it on top of the bread and you toast it or bake it. Have it on the side with this dish. Goat water is also very popular on Saturdays in St. Kitts as well. So it was perfect timing for me to make this because it was the weekend and it was a good dish to enjoy. Now that it's been an hour and a half that has passed, as you can see, all the water boiled out and all that seasoning that I used is now in the meat and it's nice and flavored. But then now I'm going to go and fill that pot up back with some water and then work on seasoning the broth itself and then adding all the extra ingredients. Now I'm going to add the onions, peppers and the three sticks of thyme that I have. And now I'm just checking to make sure that the meat is soft enough or it needs a bit more time to boil so I'm gonna add the carrots because that also takes a bit of time to boil and then I'm gonna cover it for about 10 minutes and then come back 
before I let it sit, I'm just gonna add my other seasoning. So I'm gonna add a sprinkle of thyme and the gravy browning. I think I did about two to three tablespoons of gravy browning. You want it to be like a really dark color, so that's why I went add a bit more to give it that nice dark color. Now I'm gonna let it sit. Okay, so at this point the carrots should be boiled and a bit soft and the meat got a bit more time to cook. So now I'm just going to taste the broth to see if I need to add more seasoning. And I do, so I'm going to add a bit more of that adobo as well as the lari seasoned salt. At this point I'm going to add the last two ingredients which is the dumpling and the breadfruit because these take the fastest or these cook a bit faster than the carrots and the goat meat would so you're going to add them in at the last 10 minutes and then cover it let them cook down on high heat still and then you should be good to enjoy after that. And now we're back so you can see the broth thickened up a bit because the dumpling had the bit have the flour mixture so that gave it a nice thick consistency and there you have it we are at the end of my quick goat water recipe I hope this helped someone <laughs> um, if you have any questions at all leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you so everybody stay blessed everything's cool by hit that subscribe button anywhere else and I will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching Some more dumpling and some carrots in there. And some good food. Mm. Nice. And then one more. <laughs> Get some more dumpling and breadfruit and stuff in there. Mm. <laughs> nice. And then you shake it off good. And you put the spoon back there. And you go back up the pot. Everybody bless, make sure say everybody bless, yeah, yeah.